Hi, Glass Fusers. I'm here to share another new project with you. This is called Wine Glass and is from my new video, Simple Pleasures. This project is made with two layers of glass. The base layer is white and the second layer is made up of cut pieces. I'm using the paper as a guide to cut out the wine glass pieces. By using a paper pattern, I ensure that I have really good, accurate shapes. I have selected dichroic glass for my wine glass because I want it to be really flashy and beautiful. I cut the glass as close to the paper as possible. Then I use my pliers to detail it further. Now that the border and the wine glass are cut, it's time to assemble the project. I'm gonna start by gluing the purple border to the outside edge of the white base. The border is a visual frame that contains the art and it also contains the frit, so I have a really nice, clean, quality outside edge. I glue the pieces with fuser's glue so they don't move when I apply the frit. I've selected fine size frit for this project. I'm using this medium green to create a landscape. Then I'm going to apply darker green on top in rows. These rows will represent a vineyard. I purposely selected white for the base because all of these colors will show really nicely on top of it. Now I'm going to continue the landscape with a distant hill in a light green. It's important to clean the frit off of the wine glass and off of the border because it really adds to the quality of the overall finished piece. I'm going to apply medium frit on the light green in order to give me more lines and more of a vineyard feel. Now I'm going to add a distant hill in this chocolate brown color and then another hill that's a little further in the distance in a lighter kind of tan color. I'm using this paintbrush to shape the frit. For added detail, I'm going to use a little straw that's cut off to act like a spoon and put a little bit of green that runs up into those distant hills. Now I'm using a sky blue. I'm gonna fill in that area that represents the sky. Then I take a darker blue, and I'm put that in, putting that up towards the top of the art, and I'm gonna feather this in to create some movement in the sky. A palette knife is a great tool to flatten the frit out and also to mix it. Once the project is assembled, it's time to fire it to a full fuse temperature. I'm firing this project in my Scut Firebox 14. It comes with a controller that has automatic settings, so it's very fast and easy to start firing. Just like that, we're on. And now look at this beautiful project as it comes out of the kiln. Look how all the colors have blended. We've got that beautiful pattern in the foreground and the dichroic glass is just lovely. This wine glass is just one of 12 fun projects in my new video, Simple Pleasures. Until next time, keep on fusing. You may also like some of these other videos available on my website. These videos are available as DVDs and as downloads. I also have eBooks. Be sure to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Happy fusing!